<laughs> well, I think I, I can't even describe it. She's just a, a pillar of Fullerton Airport and has gone on to greatness. And oftentimes this gentleman is known as Jenny's dad. <laughs> and that is Bob Cooter. Bob has been a, a board member for um, the past seven years. And oh, by the way, uh, before I jump too far into Bob Cooterman, is Ed Martell with us tonight? Yep. Okay, good. Ed, um, of course, Ed's been a board member for, well, seven or eight years as well. And he has now volunteered to be the um, AOPA uh, ASN, the network representative for our airport. So, Ed, thank you for everything that you've done for us and been a part of. Again, so many of these folks work so hard behind the scenes. And I, I hate to keep believing that, but it's just so true. And I just want to make sure we all know and understand how important their role is and has been and how appreciative I am uh, and to be supported by that. What a great team and all of Anyway, Bob Kuderman, uh, now the new faculty president, was elected in good standing. I've already seen him um, participate around the airport in <laughs> already establishing the relationships, making new friends, and I know he's destined for greatness and, and like he supported me, I will support him and I know the rest of the team, the board team will support him. I encourage you all to support him. And when he reaches out to ask for volunteers for various little uh, duties, I would really encourage you all to join in and let's, let's take FAPA to the next level under Bob's leadership. With that, Bob, thank you so very much and um, welcome aboard. Thank you, Jim. Uh, one thing you did not mention is that when you resigned at uh, our last board meeting, or when you said he was going to resign, we asked him if he would stay on as a board member. And he did agree to that. And I want you to notice that on, your, on the tail on your airplane, Rob White, it's also board member. So every time you get into your airplane, this is going to remind you, you are a fat So, <laughs> so Jim, it's it's uh, a lot of mixed feelings. I've been congratulated. I've been saying, "Oh, you dummy!" You know all that stuff. Um, getting all that stuff. Uh, whenever when when Jim asked everybody or told everybody he was definitely going to step back, and he asked for volunteers, it was like everybody took a step back except me. So that's pretty much how I ended up. And the board members have given me such a wonderful reception tonight, and every one of them said, thank you for doing that. So I don't have to, so. But uh, I, I, would, I would like all of the board members to stand up just so everybody is aware of who they are. Jim, you don't have to stand up. You're higher than everybody else. So thank you all the board members that came that just mentioned. Jeff, and 
and they'll get you signed up. It's 30 bucks, 35 bucks a year, and uh, um, you get all the information from, uh, from that's, that's sent out. So that's that's available for family members. Another opportunity at on Fullerton Airport is um, another mechanic on Fullerton Airport is Ben. Um, ben Kellogg, come on over here. This is Ben from Ben Airworks. And um, he's over here in Hangar's D26, 27, something like that? 27, 28, the last two hangers on the farm. And, and I want to introduce Ben Kellogg to you. He takes care of our airplane. Uh, takes care of mice. Uh, we have a 172 over here in Hangar's. Hangers. But uh, Ben has contributed a raffle, a very substantial raffle that, to the meetings. It's a, an hour of free labor. I mean, what labor goes for these days. So we're going to raffle off an hour of free labor, and we're going to one of these donated one of his t-shirts. But I want to. He also has another thing he would like to uh, offer to all of us here. So I'm going to give it to you. It's fun. Uh, if I can work for you, can you raise your hand? So if I don't do work for you, ask one of the guys. Get <laughs> good records. So Bob came to here a uh, week or two ago, mentioned he was taking over as staff president, so we offered a dinner raffle. So an hour, we're donating an hour for every meeting. So there's 12 certificates up there for each meeting, or each of the year. But I'm um, also offering up, well I've had this forever, but pronouncing it, ask a mechanic. You got a question? Send me an email. I will do my due diligence to answer your question properly. Any question aircraft related, I have a pilot as well. I'm not current, so don't ask me how to fly. But I have a good <laughs> reference point when with in flight issues of having that perspective as an army pilot, but as a mechanic. I know a guy who can help you out with that. <laughs> 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 to be 100% honest, I'm not comfortable in the aircraft anymore for my size. I'm working on it. Get down 100 more pounds or so. Get a little bit lighter, then I'll feel more comfortable flying. But it's just not comfortable all the time. Two tens are next to me. But uh, anyways, uh, any question you have, no question too big, no question too small, can I do this on my airplane by myself? Can I do it under mechanic supervision? A, when I'm taxing, I feel shitty. Any question under the sun, feel free to reach out to me. Um, in fact, I did a presentation a couple years ago about what pilots are allowed to do. Um, so, uh, you won't let anybody get to me too much. But, uh, yeah, any questions, reach out. Um, I have cards with me that have my cell phone on it. But I've always been willing to uh, help people and talk to them regardless of whether they're a customer or ever become a customer. My job is to keep guys up in the air and uh, keep them going. Thank you. I don't see the house for I had a problem with like going over Corona or something and I pull up my phone and I will call Ben. In he flight. picks up. <laughs> he picks up. I get quite a few in-flight phone calls. In flight. <laughs> so um, so Ben has and his, 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 his offering services and also contributed to to Fat So one of the things I thought I'd like to introduce into our meetings is, um, I don't know how to, how to title it, I don't have a slide for it, Mike, but uh, uh, to share the mistake. Uh, so many times I've 